First of all, if you don't have a shaker, you can make something out of a tin can. This is just a tomato paste can. Now if you have a maraca part or something in band or a shaker part, a lot of times you'll just see eighth notes. Uh, but there are a few little tricks in there that we should, we should think about. So when it comes to playing just a basic eighth note pattern on any sort of shaker, one of the most important things to think about if you want straight eighth notes is to not let your elbow get tired and sag down because you can have very straight eighth notes, but if you start dropping your hand, you're gonna get swung eighth notes. Many times you'll hear a shaker or maraca being played in an eighth note pattern that has an accent or a lilt on uh, the upbeats or on two and four. Here's an example. So you can see by putting just a little weight into two and four, I get a really nice groovy backbeat. To play any sort of roll on a shaker or a maraca, you can either shake it fast, or you can spin the maraca to get a sort of tornado effect. A traditional way to play maracas is in pairs. When you're playing maracas like this, one thing to be careful about is to not get an anticipatory hit into the downstroke. We'll get some really sloppy rhythms that way. So think about suspending the beads in the middle of the air without letting them hit the top. So the only sound that we get is when they make contact with the bottom. Thanks for checking out the video.